Happy Friday, November the 8th. It is Acts chapter 2, 46 and 47 that we read today. <clears throat> Here we go. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple. They broke bread from house to house. They ate their food with joyful and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. See, the body of Christ hangs out, okay? See, now hangs out, this phrase hangs out, uh, is a more modern characteris characterization of what people do when they get together. And, and it's funny that, that, that most church buildings that I've been associated with, they have what they, what, what's called a fellowship hall. And it's, it's usually a large room with a connected kitchen. There's some tables and some chairs. And well, several years ago, <laughs> I suggested that the gathering start calling the fellowship, <clears throat> the fellowship hall here. I suggested we call it the hangout hall. It didn't catch on. The body of Christ, according to these verses, must gather to be a body that functions and works together. <clears throat> this section of the gathering's priorities is what we called walking together. And that can be seen and represented in many ways, but the necessary part of it is together. The body of Christ is together. It's always my prayer that people gather, they find inclusion, they find love, they find acceptance, but also the encouragement to pursue Jesus and the things of Jesus. We cannot deviate from God and His Word. We must seek to follow the direction and the desire of God for our individual lives and the life of the body of Christ. Many groups referred to as churches today have left the Word of God. We enjoy being devoted to meeting for praise and worship, and God is also adding to our numbers. We're just blessed. Whew. See you tomorrow or Monday.